Hey yo, what's the deal? You know who it is. It's the Don. Yeah, Tony Teflon. Yeah, House Teflon. We pull the strings. Yeah, and this is a Game of Thrones season four, episode nine. The Watchers on the Wall review. Now, I'm gonna do this video in two parts, and at the end, I'm gonna do another review. So this obviously would be spoiler free, and we will get into this episode now. This episode I had very high hopes for. Uh, I really thought coming off the last episode that they had a chance just to shoot for the moon uh, and really take this thing ep to epic, epic, epic proportion. But the way it was set up, the way I'm looking at it, is that it seems like it's a two-part episode. All right, So I can't really judge it on this one episode because it seems like it was two parts and the second part hasn't been played. So Better to judge it on a whole. But the fact that they did it like that, I have a problem with it, too. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to... There's not really a lot that I can talk about in this episode, basically because it's um, just them fighting at the wall. So that's basically what, what it is. So I'm just going to try to touch on a couple of things here and there uh, that happened during it, things that I liked and stuff like that, and maybe a couple of things that I didn't. Uh... I like, uh, so you get, uh, yeah, you, you get, the first thing I see is that, let's start right off the bat. You see these dudes, they seen these guys outside, Man's Raider lights the fire. The fire was nice. Was it black water fire? No, it was not that good. But it was a nice looking little fire. He lights the big ass fire, so then Tom and them are like, right, let's go, let's hit the wall. You know, obviously you have Gilly and all that coming back and Sam and, I, 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 I'm not going to leave you again, whatever. So then you have these dudes charging the wall, and I thought it looked good the way you seen them streaming up, the way they made them look streaming up against going over to the wall. I thought that was great, the way they made that look, and stuff like that, all right? So then, the first thing is, if you know that these guys are going to attack one day, why are you scrambling to get shit together? Wouldn't you already have that shit waiting for you at the wall, already there? You know what I mean? Why are you scrambling to get them falling around to get arrows and stuff? To get? You know they're coming. They told you they were coming. So then you get uh, Sir Allison Thorn. He's there at the top, and he finally realizes, and he tells John, listen, man. And I thought that he had he was the best character in this whole episode, to tell you the truth. Well, I, you know, you got, got a newfound respect for the guy and stuff like that. Like, you know, I always thought he was a dick. And it's like I said, there's nothing wrong with And in old life, I tell you the truth, there's nothing wrong with being a dick because dick fucks pussy and asshole, so there's nothing wrong with that, you know what I mean, but he's a dick, and um, I got newfound respect, because the man could fight, he throws some blows, and he's not bullshitting up there, you know what I mean, obviously he had to, to be, to consider where he was at, but you never really got a chance to see him do his thing, and I thought he did his thing, and the speeches he gave were the best speeches of the show, uh, and motivational, I, I liked it, you know what I mean, I liked the episode overall, I wasn't blown away, it wasn't phenomenal, it was... All right, anyway, besides that, uh, so he's up there. He's like, listen, I should, you were right, you know what I mean? You should have blocked the wall, he said. But the thing about being in command is that when you're in command and you say something, you got, you know, 50 dudes trying to say the same thing uh, right behind you and trying to question yourself. If you question yourself, then you die and they die. And I 100% agree with him on that. So he's just like, listen, let's just get through this night and you can hate me. I can hate you in the morning. And we'll go right back to business, but let's just survive. He goes out there and he tells him, you know, gives a great speech saying the wall's not going to fall. He go into this whole big fucking fight. And I, what I take from the fight is that uh, first you got yeah, Tom and, Tom and Giants, babe, the bear fucker. You ain't fuck no bear. <laughs> and no, he ain't fuck no bear. That motherfucking slick is a sealed back motherfucker. No, but I like that cat. And he, his, really, his fighting technique is just a barbarian style. He just get by with just pure strength and malice. I mean, when you see him fight Allison Stone, it shows a little bit of skill, but basically he's just an animal. And it just gets by on strength. And then they, they rolling through with the Magnar then and he and that now he dies, John kills him when John comes down. And this is the first time I've actually seen John beat somebody's ass for a little bit. But once again, when John starts fighting the main guy, he loses his sword, he gets his face slammed into an anvil, which fucking had to hurt. But the man's tough. He comes back from that. Luckily, there was a hammer there, and and he had used it to get out of there. You know what I mean? So that was that. I mean, 
You got the uh, the Giants look great. I like the way the Giants look. There was one mammoth. One mammoth? Yeah. You can't remember. I, mean, I, I don't know. One mammoth. Uh, the Giants did look great. Let me talk about the Giants scene with these dudes down there. Now, a lot of people died that started. The Pip and these dudes died. You know, not emotional for me. People got to die. So, uh, the Giants in the gate, and he charges through, and these guys, they say that they're going to hold it, they're going to hold it, and then they, by the time they come back, everybody's dead. I understand why they did that, but the way they built up that scene in the show, uh, uh, in, in, the, in the previews and stuff like that, it looks so much better. Uh, I thought they should have showed them fighting in there. I would have rather seen the Giant reach through them fucking guards and grab somebody by the neck and slam his face into the bars and then try to grab the other guy, and then before he grabs him and pulls him in, you see him go like that with the sword, and then it turns black, and then you can see they're all dead and stuff like that. That would have been better than me to just go back, just to have the guy run and throw the shoulder in there. You got the other giant who had a big-ass bow, took that fucker out and shot that fucker through the moon. That was great. And then he got taken out with the Bautista right through the back, which made the other guy mad and got him to throw the shit up and go down. Um... Janel Flint is a pussy, uh, obviously. I, I don't really like to say, you know, you know I, he's a pussy, and that's the word that suits the purpose, you know what I mean? But I'm on that Betty White shit, and she says, you know, pussies take a pounding, and uh, and balls are really weak. So I'm going to switch that shit up and say he's just fucking nuts. He's just a ball sack, because that fuck is this fucking ball sack. Yeah, just hiding out there and, and, and everything else, and going in there with, the Sam, who's supposed to be the coward, you know what I mean? And he go leaves Gilly, and this guy's in there, not even in there trying to protect the chick, cowering in the corner like a little fucking bitch. Just a straight bitch. And just, there's no other word, bitch. And I can't even say, bitch. See, that's all he is. I can't, just, I hate bitches. I can't stand bitch, motherfuckers, boy. Oh, my God. So this dude's doing that. Ah, the Egret John thing. I guess I'm going to go right there uh, to that. I mean, listen, you can see Ghost gets released and he bites a couple of people. It didn't really... It, I, he's chewing on one guy. It looks like he killed one guy and started eating him. I mean, I, I would thought he'd been bouncing back and forth with this guy. But it seems like he killed the guy and he was hungry. He just stood there and started eating it. I don't know. Uh, so then you go, I go right from there. I go, you know, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mace the Amen, he gives his speech. And I guess you get a little background on Mace the Amen and stuff like that. We knew he was a Targaryen, and we know he's the third son of Mago, and he was named after his great uncle, the Prince Amen, uh, the Dragon Knight, and stuff like that. And, by, by, and, he, and I think he got sent to the Maces when he was about nine because there was, he had, you know, he had a couple of brothers, and they just thought too many. They didn't want no inner. No fighting inside the Targaryen, so he sent them to uh, the Citadel to become a mace. Then he went back to court and stuff like that. His brother died. They offered him the black the wall. He didn't want it, and he went back to the wall. So that's basically Mace the Aemon's story, and they gave you a little bit of background on that. But that's stuff we already knew. So uh, to me, I took that part was when he was talking about the chick, and he's like, "Oh, I can give you." I thought that was towards the book readers, making fun of the book readers. Saying, I can tell you the shape of her nose. I can tell you the color of her eyes. I remember it real good, but I'm not. And that's basically when you're reading the book, how we, how the book readers uh, know who the characters are. It's basically by the color of their eyes, the shape of their nose, and stuff like that. That tells how certain people are. And I think that was more along the lines of touching on that. And stuff like that. Uh, what else happened there? The Egret John Singh. Uh, who didn't see this coming? I mean, for weeks... I've heard everybody in the comments say this is how she's going to die, and boom, that's how she's going to die. It was just too obvious. I am not about no Titanic-esque fucking hugging when there's a battle going around and just sitting there and hugging and everything else while everything else is going around you. And I'm just not into that. That's not, that's just not, that's not the dime, man. So I, I can't, maybe women liked it or something like that, but I ain't a woman. So uh, I can't, I, no. Nah. I don't know what else to say about this episode. I really have to... Uh, um, I don't know what else to say. It's a, it a battle. That's it, part one. I guess... Uh, what else happened in that? So Janice Flint... The, the battle... Egret was doing good with the bow. Tormund's an animal. The Magna... I don't even know if that was the Magna Then Then the Magna Then is dead. And then you have the Warg Then with the... The Warging Then guy with the... With the... With the owl. You know. 
I think he's dead too. Uh, I don't know. I uh, I don't know if he's dead or not. But I just think they're going to go into part two with it. So I'm going to have to end the spoiler-free edition of this thing and give my true thoughts on this right after this. But before I do, I'm going to say that this episode was a seven. Uh, it certainly was not Blackwater. Uh, and this just goes to show you that even though you could have great fight scenes and great... Um, and it, the battle itself was great, and the fighting was great, and everything about it was great. I just thought a couple of boneheaded things in it, and that's why it has to go that low. And because I think it's part one, it has to go that low. So, as always, if if if, if uh, you like what I do and everything else, uh, please subscribe. Please tell your friends about me and everything else. And uh, I'll be back next week to, to, to give you the season finale, the, the, the children. And let's hope that it's better than this episode. Believe me, I hope it is. All right? So, peace out. You know who it is. It's the Don. Yeah. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. Yeah. Peace. People's champ. And I'm out. All right. Book readers. And people who have read all the books, this is for you. This episode, I'm not going to say it's garbage. You know what I mean? Because it's Game of Thrones and it's not garbage. But my expectations for fucking Stannis being in this fucking episode makes this episode fucking garbage to me. I didn't even fucking sniff this dude in this episode. And the reason why I gotta say this is because this is the problem. If the next episode is not 90 fucking minutes long, there is no way that you're gonna do it justice the way it deserved to be done justice. You could have cut half of that shit out and you stand this for at least 10 to 15 minutes in there coming in and stuff like that. You could... Uh, uh, all right. Let me explain something to you, man. About this... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you put it like this, let's say they devote 10 minutes to a scene in episode, next episode, right? That means you're going to have to have Tyrion story, right? 10 minutes there. Then you're going to have to have Brienne's story, right? Ten minutes there. And then you have Arya's story, right? Ten minutes there. Daenerys' story, right? Ten minutes there. Bran, ten minutes there. The Wall, ten minutes there. That's 60 minutes right off the bat that they haven't even touched on everyone. And you know they're not giving ten minutes for everybody. So if this ain't 90 minutes long this episode, I cannot see them being able to... Get on everything the way it's going to be like a, a typical last season episode where you get three minutes here, three minutes here, three, and they just jump in all over the place, and I hate it when they do that. And especially a time when they have the show that stands to shine, and they're going to cut his part like this. Now, maybe it won't be like that. Maybe they, they, they figured it out better than me, and, and there's some way they can make it do it better. But I, I really don't see how. It's just... Not enough time to touch it. That's not even touching on the White Walkers yet. I haven't even said that yet. So if, I, if it's not 90 minutes, I don't see them being able to do everything justice. And, and that's my number one problem with this episode leading up to the next fucking episode. And, uh, and, and, uh, and such bullshit that they show, as I said, it's stupid that they don't have the shit ready. They have the big ass chain swinging. That was great. That chain should have been in fucking Blackwater. All right. If you want to show a big ass chain, I would have rather seen the chain in Blackwater, like it was supposed to be in books. But it was cool. I liked the fucking chain sweeping people. I liked it. But put it in Blackwater the way it was fucking supposed to be. You know what I mean? I I, I just don't think that they handled it right. So like I said, the giant scene could have been more epic. You know what I mean? You got the giant throws his shoulder to the thing and just goes black. I mean, really? They could have did something better than that. You know what I mean? I just think that, obviously, it's like I said, it's got to be part two. But I just don't see how they can do justice to everything that needs to be done justice by putting that scene into next week. Now, what, that, that leads me to the question, where do you think the season's going to end? What does it end on now? I think now, because of that, it has to end with Tywin getting killed. I think that's the only way it goes. And if, usually they end with a dragon scene or a white walker scene. So you may get like a, you know, a real quick glimpse, 
you know, 20 seconds like they do of something like that. But I'm talking about the big ending. And I think that's what it's going to end on. I would have rather them end on Lady Stoneheart. I don't see how they can do it. The only way I see them feasibly doing it now, obviously in the book, she's, they found that she's laying in the water. Now they, they've had it. She, it's been months and months and months. She still can't be in the water. They can't find her like that. It can't be Thor or Samir just finding her and resurrecting her and bringing her back. I can't see it going down like that. There's no way they could do that in a little bit of time. The only thing I can see them doing, if it was to be done, is if Brienne is with Podrick and they get captured by the Brotherhood and she's already resurrected and they don't show her getting resurrected. And then they bring her to their boss and then she turns around and you see her face and then that's it. That's the only way I could see it possibly being done. There's no way they can show the resurrection and stuff like that. It, it, this is impossible. So my basically point is the fact that it did not show Stannis, which, which is stupid. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to hope that they're going to do it justice next episode. So I'm not even going to say anything bad about it no more. But that's my biggest complaint about it. And that they just left themselves too many holes to fill. That they could have taken care of that. Then they could have done everything else they had to do next season. You know what I mean? Next episode. You could have even had, you know, uh, the, the beginning of the Janos Flint. You know, how are you gonna how is, how are you gonna have Janos Flint running you know, running for the running for everything? And you know, Jan, running for the be King's Guard, the running the, the the knights watching him, such a bitch like that. Are they just gonna have everyone unanimously uh pick John because Alice Stone is injured now and now John has been the hero. It's gonna make everyone ah, John's just gonna be it, no drama. They may do it like that. And I wouldn't like to see it like that, but the way they made Flint such a bitch, I, I they may have to do it like that and um I just uh, I don't know. Uh yeah, the whole thing with So James Flint beef between John and him was the fact that he can see that John's a walk. He always he sees it. He could tell. He's got the mark of the beast on him, that one does. I see it. The mark of the beast. And they have not at any way showed that John can walk, so they can't play into that angle. So I don't know. I don't know. It's like I said, biggest complaint with this motherfucking episode is that I just don't see them how they spread themselves thin for the next episode. They should have took care of the whole standing shit and everything right here. And then you would have to deal with that. They could have made it look great and everything else. But now I think I see the fucking same thing that happened when when when, when the, the fucking Lannister guy fucking farted and the other guy thought he was playing. And then you seen the fucking bite of the wolf. And then you seen the sword. And you heard, the king of the north, the king of the north. And that's it. And I see them doing that same bullshit to fucking Stannis that they're just about to get overrun. And then you see a fucking fire banner. And I guarantee it'd probably be that fucking... They'll probably have that owl out there if that guy's not dead. And Melisandre will shoot that arrow, that, that owl out of the sky and burn that fucking owl and kill that fucking thing, the, the, the warg thing. And then fucking you see the banners come through and not even show the battle and then that's it. And I, I think that's going to be and that's going to suck and that's going to piss me off. And you won't see that next review if that shit happens. So anyway, I'm the fuck up out of here. I was very disappointed with this episode. I really the fuck was. Uh, and I'm the fuck out. So I'm going to try to get something better for you this later this week so it's uh, better. I really don't have much to say about this episode. I really don't have shit to say about this. So as always, it's the Don Chia, Tony Teflon, House Teflon. We pull the strings. I'm out. Subscribe, like, tell your friends about me. And I'm not always this cranky, but I'm this cranky right the fuck now. Peace. I'm out. The people's champ.